All right, guys. What I have today is I have inexpensive ten to fifteen dollars rackets for table tennis. I'm gonna open each one of them and check it out and test them out. See which one is the best. So let's open these up and unpack them. This is uh, Eula. Eula Tramp. Okay. So this is a beginner's beginner's racket as you can see it's got the plywood ergo grip and special control system so here we are such holes in the handle and what about the stats you can see here 68 speed 73 spin and 93 points for control so let's check it out let's open it up all right guys so let's open the first one eula Be careful when opening not to cut the rubber. So be gentle. It's got a protective foam covering the sides. All right. So you la tramp. Right. The next one is Donic World Champions Play Waldner line. And you can see here here are the stats. So the speed is 60, spin is also 60 and control is 70. So uh this all round it's also got power light system PLS. So and on top of it uh, we have three free table tennis balls as well as a cover as you can see it's all included in the set before i remove the the films let's open the next one the racket and now the box of balls
And next up is Stiga, as you can see. And this is Bounce Advance. Uh, it's got speed 62, spin 44, and control 78. All right. So it's also got this Bounce Advance reduced weight balsa wood technology. So let's check it out. So let's open it up. And the last one, Stiga, just the easiest to open. All right, guys, so the table tennis rackets are open. Let's remove the final foam. And I'm going to tell you which one feels the best and how it feels to bounce the ball. Whoa, this one is really, really potent. All right, so they are all open now. And let me tell you what my opinion is on them. I'm just checking if there's no more film. All right. So, how about the weight and the lightness? Oh yes guys so it is actually placed in the order from the lightest to the heaviest so the Stiga with the balsa wood is definitely the lightest racket and I must tell you it's like it's like a feather okay the middle one is uh, Donic and this feels all right and the heaviest one is the Eula Tramp okay so Eula match, Eula tramp, so it feels the heaviest. All right, ergonomy, which grip feels the best in one's hands? They all feel good. This one is like a full hand, okay? And this is somewhere in the middle. Or, and this is the, I think the squarest of them all. Okay, so it's all got advantages and disadvantages, okay? More round grip and more square grip. So this fills your hand. And this, well, catches onto your hand quite well. This is somewhere in the middle. This is more round, I would say. The roundest of them all. The Donic. Okay. What about the rubber? Well, you can see, and this is quite shiny. And you can feel it's going to spin the ball pretty well. It catches onto your finger. It's not really that slippery. This is uh, less, I would say, less so. This is kind of, uh, I would say, easier to move your fingers about. The rubber doesn't catch your finger that well, so probably it won't spin the ball as well. 
and the last one the tramp oh I think this got this uh, it's difficult most difficult to move your finger around this rubber so probably this one will have the best spin okay guys How about testing with the ball? Why not? So I'm opening the balls that were given here. I'm gonna put some already in the container, in its cover. Okay. So this is the cover from the Donic racket. Let's grab the ball. Donic Avant Guard 40 plus. Okay, let's try and bounce it. Very easy to bounce, and it's got this dull sound. We'll see how it plays. I will tell you playing in a game which one feels the best this is quite right and it's light okay the next one donic the sound is different it's less dull more bouncy so I guess it will be more offensive than the Stiga the spin is quite okay as well And the last one, which is the Eula Tramp, the heaviest. Oh, this feels kind of uh, very defensive. The speed probably won't be that high from this rubber, but the spin is very good. Like I said before, the rubber is very, very, very non slippery, so it grabs the ball very nicely. So, so far, I guess this one is the fastest and most offensive rubber, at least from the first feel. What about the backhand? Oh, the backhand, I would say it's even more defensive than the forehand. Now the back end of the Donic. Oh, this is definitely more aggressive, less defensive, more attack like. So, offensive will be the strong point of this racket. And the last one, which is the Stiga. This is somewhere in the middle. So, the most defensive rubbers are on the Eula. This is the second in line when it comes to defensive least aggressive and the most aggressive is definitely the Donic racket all right guys so I hope you've enjoyed this film uh, what I can tell you is um, you need to try playing it first to see for yourself and I'm gonna try do exactly that in a second okay and I'm gonna tell you what my preference was in the end for the game all right so glad to have you let me show you the rackets up close again when they are unpacked so budget budget rackets 10 15 dollars each uh, and you can see they are pretty good equipment nowadays well when I was a kid we could only dream about such things for so little money Trampula and here is a special hole like system probably it's to dampen the vibrations and here we have the rubbers up close pretty good now the donic the donic is not i would say as shiny it's more like covered with flour and you can see 
the handle is very different as well it's got the damper but it's buried in the wood and the rubbers are like that so uh, this is in my opinion the most offensive weapon and the last one which is very light the lightest it feels like a feather like top class rackets and this is the Stiga but the rubbers are most I would say defensive on both the Eula and the Stiga so Stiga is somewhere in the middle Eula is the most defensive one and that's how it looks all I IT TF approved rubbers so you can see here or maybe the Donic is it yes it is as well so that's how they look up close thanks for watching and see many more table tennis films on our channel guys Okay, I'm switching the racket now to Stiga. Alright, now the Stiga, the lightest one, which in my opinion is also kind of defensive. All right, and now for the most defensive, in my opinion, which is Eula. Alright guys, so uh, to be honest, when it comes to the three rackets I've just tested, uh, my preference uh, when it comes to the offensive game uh, is definitely the Donic, uh, but on the other hand it's uh, very cool to play with Eula and with the Stiga racket as well. Um, so uh, in my preference uh, when it comes to the spinning, uh, the ball spinning, it's definitely Eula or Stiga, uh, when it comes to your offensive play attacking is definitely the donic so that's my ranking when it comes to any she says her favorite is the lightest one which is the stiga the balsa wood one and it spins the ball very well so uh thanks for watching guys and obviously see you soon uh.